Comparing yourself to others. You need to stop doing it. Aside from the fact you have different starting points and different body fat percentages, different amounts of weight to lose, and probably different goals as well, you also have a different life and different responsibilities. So for example, are you a busy mum or dad who doesn't have a lot of time, has work commitments, family commitments, and wants to maintain a social life? Or do you have a lot of time to exercise? You're single, maybe you're studying, so you've got a lot of free time. And maybe at this part of your life, your physique can be more of a priority to you. Training experience also comes into it. So this might sound slightly counterintuitive, but when you first begin to exercise, you get what we call newbie gains. These are very drastic results to begin with, because when you go from doing nothing to something, you get a huge effect. But when you go from doing some of something to a little bit more of something, you sort of fall into the law of diminishing returns. So you don't get as much of a big improvement. And finally, genetics can play a role. Yes, it is actually harder for some people to lose weight than others. This isn't because they magically store calories that aren't there or they defy the laws of energy balance. It is for two main reasons. Number one, some people have a higher drive to eat than others. And number two, some people compensate for reduced energy intake by reducing their energy expenditure. Now, most people do this, but some people do it to a much larger degree. And likewise with the hunger. Most people, when they reduce their food intake, will become more hungry. However, for some people, this hunger or drive to eat is much higher than for others. Your genetics can influence how you adapt to dieting and how you deal with an energy restriction and this can make it much harder for you to lose weight. But, very importantly, not impossible. Just a little bit harder. And to make it clear, none of these are excuses. They're just factors that you need to consider. And maybe take a step back and consider your position and realize how lucky you are potentially to have these life stresses. So a family life, a work life, a social life, all of which you want to maintain while meeting your weight loss goals. This isn't impossible but it needs to be managed properly. And remember that having maybe a little bit of excess fat isn't the worst thing in the world, especially if you've got everything else going for you. So if you've got a busy family, social and work life, and you're comparing yourself to someone who maybe doesn't have that and prioritizes exercise and diet a bit higher, than, then I'd probably say you're better off, but that's just my opinion. My point is you can't compare the two. And as cliche as it is, balance is important, and probably nobody apart from you actually cares what you weigh, as long as you're a relatively healthy weight. Take home from this, stop comparing yourself to others and be the best version of you.